Hey guys, Coop here for Games Lounge, and today we're going to do something a little bit different than my typical walkthrough videos. This is going to be more of an overview video on the junk jet in Fallout 4. As the name suggests, it's a projectile weapon that fires junk at people, so it seems like Bethesda has decided to add another element to junk, as well as using it as more of a customizable and crafting item. They've decided to add in the mix that it's an ammo type as well. Now, before I go into great detail about the weapon, I'm going to mention a quick location you can get it from. It's at the beginning of the game, the very first Brotherhood mission called Semper Invicta. Basically, obviously, if you just go through the mission, you won't miss it. It's on a table opposite a jet engine or rocket ignition console, which you have to go past to turn on the elevators in that mission. I won't go into too much detail about it, but yeah, it's in that area and there should be a bit of footage to help you now see where it is. Okay, so let's talk about the base stats of the weapon and also some of the mods you could equip. It does a base damage of 40. Now, here's the thing. I believe that requires you to do a slight charge of the weapon before you shoot it. You can't just trigger tap it like you can a pistol or a rifle. You've actually got to charge it up and then let it shoot out the junk. Because I think it, the times that I've tried to just trigger tap it to shoot it out, it just shoots out, spurts out, and it just does a little bit of tiny damage to them. But anyway, the rate of fire is 20. The range, the initial range is 119. Accuracy is 75. The weight is quite a bit. It's 29.9. So we'll just round up to 30. And the value is 285. So the value of it is not, isn't too bad, actually. I suppose if you wanted to, you could just sell it after you've tested it and maybe you don't like it yourself. Now let's talk about the mods. The uh, long barrel adds 84 range and 3 accuracy. If you go down to the stock, the re recoil compensating stock um, doesn't add any stats. It basically just reduces the recoil, obviously, every time you shoot. Um, the sight, which is the gunner sight, adds 6 accuracy. But I'll be honest with you, that might be a necessity for this gun. Because when I've tried using it without the sight, um, even when I think I'm aiming directly on them, it just doesn't seem to hit them. So I don't know what the issue is there. Maybe it might be a bug in the game for my game. Or maybe I'm just a crap aim. And finally, the muzzle mods. Uh, there's only two. There's the electrification module, which adds 15 electric damage, which I'm assuming would be good against since just robots in general. There's also the ignition module, which adds 15 fire damage. So bugs, humans, just creatures in general, that's obviously what you'd use that against. But now we've come to the end of the video, guys, and it's time for my final opinion on the junk jet. Um, honestly, it's not really that good. It's more of a collector's item, like, um, oh yeah, I wanna if you want to collect every gun in the game, then yeah, obviously you'd collect it and then you put it somewhere in your house, maybe you put it on show on a shelf or something, but in a serious fight that you definitely need to win, I certainly wouldn't be using it against a dev, dev claw. <laughs> That's definitely not going to happen anytime soon. Maybe if you just want to have a bit of a laugh, you want to uh, stick a teddy bear in there, just to shoot off a raider's head if you think you can do that, then go for it, you know, it's a bit of a laugh that way. It's more of a novelty in the game than an actual serious firearm that you can use. But anyway guys, uh, glad you watched this video. If you really did enjoy this video, why not uh, like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But anyway guys, this is Coop for Games Lounge signing off, and I'll see you guys next time.